Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Ellery here, on my day off. This is also supposed to be my weekend off from Zara, but her daddy has something to do, so I will pick her up tomorrow from school. I actually picked her up today from school. I wasn't supposed to do that, but that's a whole other story. Co-parenting, co-parenting. So she's gonna be with me this weekend. Don't know what we're doing, because I was planning on just doing nothing. You know what I'm saying, my favorite thing to do. But um, I know I have to go to the mall on Sunday, for sure this time. And it's gonna rain on Saturday, and I think tomorrow, so I don't know. We'll see. Right now, I'm about to go to the Mexican restaurant, <laughs> cause it's airy season officially. Oh my God, like I feel like my mood changed today. Like all of a sudden, like I'm really, really happy. It's like, oh my God, it's because girl, it's about you now. <laughs> so I'm about to go get me a margarita. It's Taco Thursday, not Taco Tuesday, it's Taco Thursday. About to go get me margarita, maybe some tacos. Then I'm gonna go to my sister's house because today also the Freaknik documentary comes out. So we might do a little. <clears throat> Y'all know I don't move. Um, Yeah, we wanted to watch that documentary today. And yeah, that's all I have planned. I'm gonna buy me some lotto tickets because it's almost a billion dollars. That's my plans for today. Margarita, Freaknika, and I'm gonna see my little uh, Nisita. Not Kelly, she's out of town, but here I come, Nori. So, I went to the Mexican restaurant, right? It's the Mexican restaurant that I go to all the time where Zara gets the Mexican corn. I didn't even record inside, not even my meal. It just so happened that it was a couple of lookers at the bar, right? So the first looker was with somebody. So I looked and then I looked away, like taken, got it. So then when they left, it was another guy that was coming to set the bar, right? So Mind you, he was really cute. So I was like, oh my God. He sat one chair in be like there was a blank chair in between me and him, and then two chairs down from some other girl, right? So I was like, closer to me. Ooh, that's a sign. <laughs> so before I could say Jesus wept, amen, I get my drink and He's looking my way, but I'm like about to sip my straw because you know, I want to be fully courted. I want somebody who is pursuing me to pursue me. Like I, I'm that girl. Like, I don't care if it's 2024, like show your interest and show it hard, fast and quickly and pursue me, court me, open my door, all that good stuff, right? I digress. So I get my drink and I'm about to take a little flirty sip and the girl that's two chairs down, kid you not, it's like straight out of a rom-com. This girl said, excuse me, excuse me. He's like, yeah. She's like, do you come here often? Girl, you don't even look like, I've never seen you around my town. Like, when I'm in my part of the neck of woods, right? I ain't never seen you at the Kroger, the Publix, the Target, the Walmart, the TJ Maxx. I ain't even ever seen you. What is you doing out here uh, scoping my, my scrums of a man? Like, I don't even get a good looking man around these ways. You're not from here. Why are you here? Talking about, do you come here often? Are you serious? Are you serious? Y'all, 15 minutes later, her chair is next to his chair. They're talking, they're conversating. They're they're full blown into the conversation. Check please, like, mind you, I didn't even come here for the, all that. I just was going to have a good meal and if just so happens I meet a nice looking young man, so be it. And it just so happens a nice looking young man is three feet away, if that, and someone talking about, do you come here often? And he falls for it. Like, what a type of... I don't like that. Shout out to her, though, whoever she was. She was on her P's, A's, and Q's. She was like, uh, it's either me or you, sis. So, excuse me. You gotta be quicker than that. So, anyways, I'm at my sister's house. Because my plan was to come over here and watch the... Fr Ooh, I was about to say the freak off. I'm not trying to watch the freak off. The freak Nick. Nick. Freak Nick. You know what I'm trying to say. The Freak Nick. That's what I'm trying to watch, not the Freak Off. All right, I'm finally slightly over my emotional damage. Hey, Nori, do you come here often? Do you come here often? Sometimes? A veces? Hello, Yeah. 
Hmm. Oh, me too. Exactly. I. I know, and I'd be like, calm down. Exactly. Riding my little pony. Girl, you gotta get on the saddle. Come on, Bertha. Lift your leg, Bertha. Right here. Bertha, I'm gonna ride your pony if you ain't gonna ride it. All right, you don't? Okay. Ride it, my pony. You wanna get on the pony now? My saddle's waiting. Oh, you done? All right, sis. Park the pony. Huh? Park the pony. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. <coughs> Nori, you gonna fall. You gonna fall. <coughs> okay, you're not gonna fall. Okay, keep going. <coughs> Say good night. You gotta wave bye bye like this. Bye bye. Bye bye. There you go. Good girl. All right, I'm home. I'm gonna eat my leftovers because I'm, now I'm hungry again. I get to sleep in a couple hours, but I do have to pick up Yoshi after school, which is okay. My nails are chipped because I washed like five wigs today. So I'm gonna do my nails on Monday. Good night. Good afternoon, y'all, in the carpool line. I had a great sleep last night, finally. I actually woke up very early and then uh, went back to sleep, which I didn't think I was gonna be able to do, but I did. It worked perfectly. Very bad weather today and kind of tomorrow. I don't know what I'm cooking for dinner. I don't know what I'm cooking for lunch. Like, when I don't have her, I usually don't have to think about this stuff. Like, if I don't eat, I don't eat. If I don't, you know, cook, I don't cook. But when she's here, it's kind of like, great. <sighs> there goes that. Guess we will be eating tonight. And I'm trying to cook at home more because that Uber Eats budget is wild. Like, it's getting a little too convenient for me, you know? So I'm ready to get out of here, bro. All I need now, oh, my face is so dry. All I need now is for my brick line to go down. Like, it's swelling went down a lot, but like, still on the incision line, it's like a speed bump that I need to go down because I'm not trying to look like lumps in a bump, lumps in a bump. We don't like the girls with the lumps in a bump on a bikini line. So I need this to go away so I can feel like I should feel like a bitch. Do you know what I'm saying? Fingers crossed. Y'all don't be believing me when I be telling you that y'all should be doing me so wrong. It's Friday, right? I'm thinking we both ain't got nothing to do. So my sister hits me, she's like, we're going to the Mexican restaurant. I'm like, oh, you know, yo, she just got home. She wants to make some popcorn. We're gonna watch, you know, this little thing on TV. I was like, you know, blasphemy, have fun, right? 30 minutes into the show, yo, she gets on a Zoom call with her friends. Now she says she's working, but is she? So this is like the umpteenth time where I've like negated something that I wanted to do to spend time with her and she ditches me. So I was like, look, <laughs> you ditch me. I'm about to ditch you. I'm going to make sense spot. I'll be back. I'll bring you something because what you're not going to do is have me bored on a Friday when I'm trying to spare you. Now watch me pass her by. She ain't going to be doing no work. Watch this. No, just get rid of her. Little You have to write to now. I can't go out. Exactly. Boo, you cow. Okay, I take that back. She's studying for uh, a monologue she has to do in drama class. It's actually very responsible to do on a Friday. Now I have to take everything back that I just said about her because she's being a good gal. You know what I'm saying? But uh, she still dished me though. <laughs> That's a fact. But for a good cause. Y'all, yesterday was a blur. I blame everybody else. I was trying to have a simple day in, and things just escalated. After we went to the Mexican restaurant, we went to my sister's house. It was about to kill there. Some people came over. Go with your first mind, Ellery. Stay home. Now we're supposed to be on our way to Cracker Barrel. Of course, the sleuth is about to have us be left. Where's your socks? Put your socks on, put your shoes on. I've only ate at Cracker Barrel one at a time, even though it's like right down the street from my house. I don't know what the big whoop is about it because they go all the time, but I don't remember what I got last time. So maybe it is good. I don't remember. I just remember when you walk in, it's a hot mess. Like it's a Disney store on acid. It's like stuff for you to buy everywhere. 
before you get in the restaurant. I'm like, why would you do that? Why would I want? Of course you like it, because that's the whole point. They want the kids to walk through there and want everything before you even order your meal. Relax. Like, we don't even know if we can afford what she want to eat. And then you want to have all these gadgets and gizmos aplenty before we can even sit down and enjoy our meal. Like, then you got the plantation chairs in the front, the rocking chairs in the front of the restaurant. Something about it, it just never made me want to go. But second time for everything, I'm going again. I learned how to play checkers here. We at the crackle of the barrel. All these creepy chairs out here. Are they for sale? So people just come to Cracker Barrel and buy some, some rocking chairs, huh? She got a root beer. This is my little mimosa. This is my yeah, what? Uh, it's not bad, right? It's, oh, it's cold? Yeah, it's supposed to be poppy. I hate it. Looks like I just have like to drink the champagne alone. <laughs> I got a biscuit Benny. Ain't nothing but little eggs, Benedict. Salad. She got some catfish, some potatoes, some grits, some mac and bacon, some chicken and waffles. No, that's French toast. <laughs> Excuse me, man. I'm right. Chicken French toast. Oh, oh. 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 she got some pepper fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Steak and eggs. And we might eat good. Okay. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. You so much. I ain't gonna lie, Cracker Barrel kind of hit. Like, everything we ordered was ah. And then. God, she's just so weird. I don't understand it. Like, that's what you get. And I heard both of your knees crack. And then, well, he did leave off one of the, our meals. Well, he left off my sister's meal. It was only, like, if he would have included her meal for all four of us to eat, $100. So, I think now I understand now why they always go to the crack of the barrel. I'm already sleepy right now. But we're going to be inside today. Look, look. Hamilton narrates Alexander Hamilton's life in two acts and details among American Revolutionary War as an aide de camp to George Washington, his marriage to Elizabeth Schuyler Hamilton, his career as a lawyer and secretary Ooh. of the Treasury, and his interaction with Aaron Burr. She's trying to convince me to want to see Hamilton. Game Meanwhile, she only wants to see Hamilton because she likes the songs. She didn't even know what Hamilton was about to just now when she's been reading reading what it's about. Didn't even know what it's about, but wants me to pay for her to have a ticket to go to New York to a Broadway show, which I'm sure Hamilton is very expensive. I'm sure Hamilton is very expensive. You can be a new man in New York. You can be a new man. I don't want to be a man. <laughs> She want me to spend all that money to go to see a runway show that she didn't even know what it was about. I didn't know it was about George Washington. It's not even about George Washington. It's Joe's ah, called Hamilton. The presidents. And Anyways. Awards. She made me listen a whole car ride home. Hamilton songs. I was very annoyed. That's on that playlist I told y'all last video that she said this shit goes hard. She did change it. I did see you change the playlist. Oh, I did. Yes, you did. It doesn't say this shit goes hard anymore. It says. Oh, so you still got this shit go hard? <laughs> What was that one called? Musical Box. I might delete that one. I'm not really like Hampton. Anyways, we're about to watch Drag Race. Hopefully I don't fall asleep. Cause I got the itis. I need you to give me some shorts though. I don't want to lay in these jeans. My incision hurts. Wait. Can you please help me? I need help. I need some, uh, some, some pants. Cause my scar hurts. Ooh. I'll check back in with you all a little later. We have been at the house chilling. And Callie gets back tonight, so we're gonna try to get back to my sister's house. It's like we might as well just move in at this point. Like, yeah, all right. it's kind of obnoxious the amount of time we've been over there. But we're going back to my sister's house to uh, see how Callie's trip went. I, I already mentioned where she went. She went to DC. She's with her aunt, my brother-in-law's sister, obviously. And she was being honored, not Callie, but my brother-in-law's sister was being honored with like 50 most. I don't know if it's powerful women or influential women or something that's a big deal. She was being honored with a lot of other great black women in DC. So shout out to Carissa. <laughs> she has a very important job. Like she's worked for the White House. I think she's worked directly under Kamala before. What's Kamala? What's Kamala? Oh, I thought you said Kamala. Wait, Ka Kamala. That's what I thought you said. It's Kamala, not Kamala. It's whatever I said. <laughs> she yeah, she has a very big deal job or whatever. Or whatever. And it's a big deal job. You said or whatever. Because I don't know what she does, but I know it's a big deal. So uh, yeah, uh, Callie has been out there since Wednesday. She yeah. got to go to the White House. She has to go to school? 
much. Anyways, yeah, we're going back to my sister's house to see how her trip was in DC. I was alive. I told you she's crazy, Nori. So, just the magic. Oh, oh, look at you. Go, Nori. You want to be an actress too? Da 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 Yay! Good job. She's telling us about her trip. We went to the hotel. It was nice. We went to something, something. I don't know for a lot. And my my auntie, she got in the line, and I talked up stage and said. I'm the first little black little girl what? that had a shirt made by my mom. Made period. By my mom. Period. The OG. Period. And it says, my BP looks like me. You said that on stage? Yes. Like but she did. Oh. We had so much fun. We had so much fun. Why you? Yeah, no, she can't Cause you falling like this. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who <laughs> fell? We were just walking, 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 walking. He's in the back of us. He said, "Yo, better get away from this door." You know, we just walking, and tell me why she's uh, she's in the back, falling like this. Bam, let me fall real quick. <laughs> let me Bam, fall real quick. let me fall real quick. Now not fail. Bam, let me fall okay, right now. Okay, now not fail. And then she busts her knee. Did you help her up? Uh, honey. The man didn't even help me up. <laughs> okay, so there's a man in the back. He didn't even help up. Nothing. He had his camera ready. He went. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have showed y'all the whole story because it sounds like Callie's trip was lit. She gave us the whole rundown through all her special treatment at the White House and at, in, in DC. Now she's back to her normal self recording TikTok over there. Me and Yosha about to head to the house, or should I say Betty Davis? Hey y'all. What was your most favorite part of the trip? Yeah, but look, when you do, just take two time. Grandmother falling. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> that should not be your favorite part. You, you was, she said you was crying. That clearly wasn't your favorite part. Anything else? Trish? Actually, yes, when I went on stage. When you went on stage, what did you say on stage? I said, I'm the first girl that my mom made, and it says right here. I don't know if you can see. My my VP looks like me. Period. And they stole our idea. Period. And ran with it. And we were never to be heard from again. <laughs> All over it. So we're coming out with our retro yeah, tees. These these shirts, if you guys don't know, my sister made and we were selling them on Stilo. And I had posted a picture of Callie. It went viral, and I tried to trademark it like after, like the next day, and somebody had already tried to do it before me, and it wasn't even a shirt or idea. Then it went crazy on Etsy, and it, it, there was nothing we could do anymore. But I tell I you, I was on Fox News. She was for the first two weeks of it going viral. And I was My on sister Fox had News us at, working in this house like a slave. I, I was on Fox News on Channel Five. Mm-hmm. And we had to we had to work long days and nights. Ebony made me go blind in my left eye because she wanted to stay up to seven o'clock in the morning talking about. We only have nine hundred and seventy three more orders. It's not that bad, girl. Turn it to my left eye vision. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, when is she gonna stop? <laughs> I'm trying to take a, give her a hint, like, ah, <laughs> boy, is it six in the morning already? <laughs> Here comes the call. And she's in no, mind you, I, this is like not a lie. It was really reaching six in the morning. She looked, and I'm, and it's clearly time to go to bed. But I had to literally say, I think, I think I'm out. Like, if I was a car, I'd be on the side of the road, and you'd have to go to the gas station and fill up. The gas tank. I, I can't. There's nothing more I can give you. Please. I would have a lawsuit definitely for workers comp. Like not. And you got your tongue out. What is up with you? She been trying to get this black on tequila ever since. 
<laughs> she's seen it. Man. Look at her. She's trying to get this. You cannot have a taste. Yeah. This is a black first black woman owned tequila brand. It's called Tequila. Girl, that was rude. Um. It's called Tequila. I think. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're saying good night to Nori. It's her bedtime. Can I have best sauce? Kiss, kiss. <laughs> no, kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. kiss. Besos. Oh, thank you. Oh, what did she say? No. Give her besos. Oh, there you go. Good job. Thank you. Night night. Night night. Love you. What is that? Mwah. Did you see what no, Nori did when we tried to play? She, no. she ran right across that I board and kicked all the pieces. <laughs> I said to put on the table. Guess we have to go to our own home now. I love you. I'm so glad you had a great trip. I'm glad you're back. You miss me? You love me? Peace out. We're in the bed. We are watching. Well, I made some popcorn. It was a fail. I burnt it. Making popcorn without using the popcorn bag is always a hit or miss. Can you get on my phone? We ate the burnt popcorn because we don't waste no food around here. We actually did waste a lot. Okay, well, we ate most of it for it to taste disgusting. Say goodnight, uh, Betty Davis. Good night, Betty Davis. Say goodnight, my beautiful natural hair goddess. Good night, my beautiful natural hair goddess. Good night. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Cheers with a cup of gel. Cheers to also a pimple. Can you guys see my zit sticker? This little girl, we're watching TV minding our business yesterday. She decides to inject upon herself mid commercial programming that, hey, do you want to borrow my UV shaver? Um, implying that I had a mustache. Um, I didn't understand why that was her concern. We're just at home chilling. Like, why would you, why would you um, have those intrusive thoughts on me? Then she proceeds to go upstairs and get her razor, her shaver, her UV shaver that she got for Christmas, and start shaving my lip. Baby, I don't know where this shaver has been. It, it it's a little wet. Um, I'm sure you've never cleaned it in your life. Why are you putting suspicious items on my lip? I am very protective about what goes in my body and on my body. Okay. Why are you putting this suspicious shaver on my lip? Next thing I know, I have a white head. Mind you, she scrubbed right here as if it was just so thick. Her shaver needed to burrow into my skin. And a couple hours later, I had a bump. I don't even get bumps like that. So this is, clear, this is clearly the cause of you invading my personal space. So I had to put a zit sticker on there. If you guys know zit stickers, I stand by these. I use these all the time. If you get it soon enough, they'll... Hopefully this will just like peel right off when I'm ready to get dressed. But anyways, I digress. I just made breakfast. Potatoes and eggs for me with a little avocado and tomato on the side. She wanted avocado toast. Even though I gave us equal parts avocado, I'm sure she's gonna be digging on my plate because she eats like a vacuum. I have to rewash her hair. I got me a little, um, this little tool. That's seen the girls on Instagram use. It's like a scalp ion spatula. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. I actually bought this months ago, but I couldn't find it. I found it in my makeup room. I'm gonna try to quickly clean her scalp, wash it real quick, get dressed. I wanna try to be out this house, God willing, by no later than three. Yeah. My goal was two, but no later than three. I have to go to the mall for the hundred and millionth oh, yeah. time. I have to go today, because it's my last weekend where I'm not gonna be busy. But yeah, all right, see y'all in a little bit when we get some food in our bellies and cute, okay? Look at us in the car. It's 2.14. I'm only 14 minutes past my original deadline. Two o'clock. Um, she's cute. We cute. Ooh, that wasn't cute. We're headed to Lennox Mall first. I'm going to try to catch my friend Tierra Monet's meet and greet. Just real quick because it's right across the street from the mall that I need to go to. To see if they're going to make my day or ruin my day by saying they can't fix my purse. When you took my gum, was there a half? I didn't take your gum. Let's stop with that narrative. I didn't take your gum. And what'd you do? I bought a gum, you bought a gum, and I only eat gum like when I'm going outside, like to do stuff. She like, can I finish? She likes to have gum when she's going to school and stuff like that. So she's been eating out of her pack, mind you, the pack that's been in my purse for several days now. And I ended up finding 
the pack that was missing and she thinks she needs the new pack even though she's the only one that's been eating off the old pack. You're the only one that's been eating the gum. Completely different. The point is you've been the one eating the about. point is you've been the one eating the gum. So whether that was your gum or not, you've been the only one eating it, girl. Okay, I'm just asking, did you when you took it? I didn't eat any gum out of it. You're asking me, did I do a half a piece of gum? I didn't even get a chance to eat any gum out of it. I had just bought the chance. gum. You want me to eat that half piece? Here, I can eat that half piece and then you can have a whole piece for my pack. Would that help you? Sure. Okay, see how easy that was? Like, I'm a compromising gal, which is why I know it's not me, it's y'all. Just kidding. I'm definitely a compromising gal though, because it's not that serious. Let's have fun. Sunday, fun day. It's two o'clock. You ready to go window shop? Sure. Me too, period. Let's go. <laughs> We just spent way too much money in the mall. Okay, I did. I did get her a little treat at Sephora. She's happy, that's all that matters. I might not be happy tomorrow, but we're not gonna root too far into the future. Right now we're at Cheesecake Cake Factory about to eat and then head on to the house. We had a great Sunday fun day. Did you have a great Sunday fun day? I don't know if she would be saying that if we didn't stop at Sephora, but it's okay. We are home. It has been a long day, but a productive day. Guess what, y'all? They're gonna fix my purse. A round of applause, a round of applause. We didn't think they were. We didn't think they were, but they are. Not for free, though. Not for free. They definitely said it was gonna cost $100, but I mean, a win is a win. Um, so, and they also said it could take between Three months, but as long as 12 months. So we won't see chanel -y for a while, but we haven't seen her for a while anyway, because she been broke. So um, I just got to make sure I don't forget about it because I'm one of those forgetful or flu, not, not floozies, forgetful, Francescas, forgetful Francescas, where I'll forget about some stuff. So I'm gonna have to put an alarm on my phone to be like, okay, it's, Month 12, where it's my bag. Moving on, we also went to my girl Tierra's meet and greet. It wasn't just even her meet and greet. <laughs> surprise, surprise. After we found it, after walking so many miles, because I don't go to Linux often anymore. I used to work in Linux Mall. Small fact about me, I used to work at Banana Republic in Linux Mall for a good two years when I was in college, right before I had Yoshi. And I had to quit like the year right before I had Yoshi because they were not honoring my college courses because I was getting my master's and my boss said it's banana or nothing and I said well baby I gotta get this degree and I had to quit so long story short yeah I used to be in banana I mean in Linux all the time haven't been there in a while because I got a little ghetto for a little bit but it's right back it's back to I think normal even though I haven't been there in years. But anyways, went to the event. I hadn't seen Tiara since Usher. Y'all know Tiara Monet. She OG just like me. Maybe even longer. I think longer because she's been doing a hair thing for a while. Then when I got there, I saw not only Tiara, but I saw Jessie Wu. Uh, I don't even know if she goes by Jessie Wu anymore, but her name is Jessie, I believe. I've only met her in person one time. That was my first time uh, meeting her. So if I mess up her name, it's not my fault. I'm put them right here because if I'm messing them up I'm gonna be mad because I don't like that um saw her too met her for the first time also met Candy for the first time so this is where things got awkward I explained this in my Instagram stories but um I gotta tell y'all too because this is our safe space when it comes to parenting right so y'all know I don't do a lot of industry stuff I get invited to industry industry stuff all the time it's not really my thing per se unless I'm around people that are kind of like I don't know how to explain it I'll explain that another day but I don't really go to anything industry related or where there's gonna be a lot of industry people there. But I knew if Tierra was gonna be there, it was gonna be cool, cause I hang with Tierra. I've hung with Tierra before. And she's like, the first time we met each other, it was like my good sis. So I pulled up for her. Jess C was cool as hell too. So I could tell she's somebody I would also do that with. And then I have been following Candy for a really long time too. And um, I know she's familiar with Yoshi because Candy is in the music industry and my baby daddy worked in the music industry. So I know they know each other in passing or they have a relationship 
a friendship or whatever, right? So she's like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, hey, how you doing? She's like, I know you talking about to Yoshi. She's like, I know you. And I'm looking at Yoshi like, do not clam up, please. Cause she's very awkward when it don't matter if you're 10, two or 12, 13, 34, 38. She's very awkward when it comes to like people like saying, hey, I know you from your channel. She just goes like this. That's just, I try to teach her and coach her just like, just open your mouth and be like, hey, thank you for following me. I appreciate your support, something. Um, but she's she's working on it. She's still a little awkward. So when um, Candy was like, yeah, I've been following you for a while since you were little. Yo, she has a tear going out her eye. And I was, it caught me off guard because we were cool just two seconds ago. So you never know what Yosh. I don't know what she had the tear rolling down for. I don't know if she doesn't want to be here, if she's hungry, if her stomach hurt, if she's, up, uh, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just trying to like, she's overwhelmed. I'm just trying to think of something to like justify why my baby has a full fledged tear coming out her eye. And you know, people are showing her nothing but love. So. I'm just like, she's a little overwhelmed, you know? <laughs> so, um, you know, people have been coming up to her today. We don't really, um, she's not really used to, you know, attention. So I think she's just a little, she's just a little overwhelmed. Like, she's she's fine, she's fine. I have no idea what's going on. So I did realize at that point that it's time to go. So obviously I had to support, but mind you, in order to buy, because I was going to support the skincare brand, it was, we, uh, Tierra was there and everybody was there for, Yele, I think it's called Yele Skincare. Y'all know I'm bad with names, phrases, and, and words. But I believe it's Yele Skincare. I'll put it right here too. It's Yandy's skincare brand. So I was going to buy a package for Yosh because she wanted to go to Sephora and all that good stuff. She wanted skincare, so I was gonna get her some skincare. But I was like, baby, if you can just keep your composure for a good five to 10 minutes, I'm gonna go get you a little skincare package then we can be out. Can you just keep your composure? I, I literally told it. I was like, can you just keep your composure for like five minutes so I can go get you your bag and then we're going to leave. I got her her bag. Then we leave. And it was a little chaotic in the mall. So I kind of forgot about what had just happened. Like we went from that store to another store, to another store, to another store. So then when we get in the car, I'm like, let me turn this radio down. Um, baby, about three hours ago, what was going on? Like, I was like, did your stomach hurt? Were you just hungry, hangry? Like, did you not want to be there? Like, why were you crying? And she was like, oh, it, uh, because you hugged me. I'm like, because I hugged you? It smells like Baccarat. Like, am I, am I getting strong? Like, what do you mean because I hugged you? Did I hug you too strong? Like, what, 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 why would that make you cry? She was like, I don't know. It's just sometimes when... You hug me, I just get a little emotional. You would think that I went to the pen for 15 years and we just got reunited. Like, even when she goes to her dad's house, it's like when she comes home or she doesn't stay the whole time, like she acts like, and I'm not saying anything's wrong with this. I'm just saying like, y'all know we be button heads, Aries Taurus, like we be button heads. She get in trouble a lot, she be grounded a lot. I don't play that a lot. So I would think she would want a break from me. She said when I hug her, sometimes she gets emotional makes her shed a tear because she's just so consumed with love. <clears throat> I'm moved. I'm moved by that. But my issue with that is we're in public. How do I explain your sudden breakdown from an overexposure of love? You could have explained that. Like, she was like, why would I, how can I explain that to somebody? Like, I'm crying because my mom hugged me. I'm like, I'm sure you're not the only weird child out there. You're not alone. You are not alone. I'm always here with you. Like, you're not alone, but give me a heads up. Whisper in my ear. Let me know what's going on because it was very awkward. We got through it. Had a great day. I got me a few things for my birthday. I'm about to show y'all. <laughs> Just a few things. Spent way too much money, but we're gonna worry about that um, um, when Yoshi's birthday come around. <laughs> Cause right now it's about me, but we definitely spent way too much money. But it's my budget for the entire fiscal year of 2024. Like, I don't get to buy anything else, but maybe a pair of heels. Maybe. Nothing I'm else. So loud. I'm loud. I scared you, girl. I'm the only person here. Who else going to be here? Oh, Michael Myers. Michael Myers. I spent my budget for the year, but I'm happy with my purchases, okay? That's a good thing. I don't regret anything, right? 
let me show y'all what I got. Laundry back there. Don't worry about her. She'll be gone tomorrow. So when I was at the Chanel store, right, there was a line outside. I went to Phipps. I was outside Saks. That's where I bought my clutch that I was getting fixed. So while I'm waiting out the door, because they, like I said, they had a line, I see a purse. And I was like, <laughs> this must be the Lord, because I wouldn't have saw this purse if I didn't have to wait outside in this line and stare at it. Um, profusely so after staring at it for so long and being happy that they're able to fix my other purse I just said well since we're here you know what I'm thinking about <sighs> never mind I shouldn't think about this because I'm gonna get upset but this purse is similar to the one I'm getting fixed except it's bigger actually that's it it's just bigger it's bigger oh it's bigger and you can wear it as um, a little clutch and a crossbody Aha! all right so Sure, open it. No wonder it took so long for her back there. She took a while. So I know she looks basic right here, but wait till I bring her little chains out. So you can wear it crossbody with this really long chain like this. It's gold hardware, obviously. Or you can tuck this very long chain in in the purse and do the short chain. It's versatile. And obviously it scrunches up to clothes, but I got one hand. So, but I wore it in the store and it just so happened like with my outfit that I had on just matched with everything that I wanted today, which is very bad. But, but I'm really happy with her. She's cute, love her. She's justified fighting, okay? All right, now let's do the other one. So I went to the Louis Vuitton store in Phipps, right? Cause it was right across from Chanel, very easy. But this is my second time going to that store and them like not acknowledging a girl that want to buy something, right? I mean, I already had picked out some glasses. I had a shoe in my hand. I was waiting for somebody to pick out my shoe size. It was three people, one, two, three. They weren't helping nobody. They were just kind of like right in front of my face looking at me. I'm looking at them. They looking at me. I'm looking at them. They don't come over. So I got a little annoyed by that because I feel like when you go to these designer stores and you spending big monies, I'm gonna need some customer service. We're not at the hookah lounge, we're at Louis Vuitton. So I was like, yo, sh let's get up out of here. Not getting no service here. She was hungry anyway, so I was like, we can go across the street back to, cause we had to go back to Lennox to get some food for her. So I was like, I'll go to the Louis Vuitton store over there and see if it's any better. It's bigger anyway. Went over there, as soon as I got there, lovely lady, she was great. So I was gonna get these glasses at the other store in gold, cause I didn't have this silver color that I'm about to show you now. But I was kind of like, it must be meant to be because I already have, I don't have a lot of designer glasses. I have maybe three, no, two pair of designer glasses. And they're both black and gold. So the one I was gonna get at the place where I was getting bad service was black and gold. So it was just the Lord telling me to go across the street so I can expand my horizons. So they had the same glasses that I was gonna get, but in black and silver. The Lord was helping the sister out. Cause why are you gonna buy the same glasses three times? Are you no Let me put them on so you guys can see. Gray in the frames, silver on the sides and on the top. Oh, 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 kissy, 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 kissy. oh, I can't. You know, that's how I would describe them. You know, they're very much so like, uh, Chuck, please. You know, does that make sense? Probably not. Anyways, I love these. Happy birthday. That was my goal to get some sunglasses. Remember I was like, when I was at the other store, I was, I saw some sandals that I liked. They had the same sandals across the street. They're just some regular degular, black slides but I only have um most of my sandals are like gold I'm just a gold girl I'm a golden girl so I wanted some all black ones so these are all black just some leather slides very cute very simple very me so that was all I was there for got my slides got my glasses it's time to go but the lady was on her job she was like oh it's your birthday you don't say I think you should get more stuff and I was like she didn't say that exactly but she said that they had a new bag that came in that was really popular. She just wanted to show it to me. Wink, wink. She knew I was gonna buy that bag. Like, stop playing with me, girl. You knew I was gonna buy this bag. So she showed me this bag and it was too cute. So I ended up getting a little bonus gift. You guys are gonna like this one, I think. You can wear it as a fanny pack or a crossbody. We're versatile over here. We spend money like for two for one. Like, we don't just spend money to spend money. We're like, what is the wear I can get out of that? Oh, I can wear a crossbody and a clutch and around my waist? 
love to see it. So this is what she looks like. Well, this is what she looks like without straps. Very, oh, you think that's it? It's not. Then you take out the, oh, it's not connected. All right, I got one hand, so you get the idea. Then you got this long strap right here. Attach it, and then you got this with the long strap, and you got a crossbody, right? Or you can put this gold chain on it and wear it around your waist, or it also around your arm. Make it a little fancier. Very cute, Yoshi approved this purchase as well. I forgot what she called this, but it has a name, but anyways. Let me know if you guys agree with my purchases. I know you might not like everything, and I'm not asking for your opinion on everything, because I don't know if I can take it, because I might take something back if you give me your opinion on everything, but <gasps> that's what I got for myself for my birthday. That's all I'm buying, nothing else. About to take a shower, get in the bed, it's 9.15. That's it, it's not a too busy week coming up. I think I got a, um, another post-op appointment on Wednesday. Then I have a hair appointment that same day too. Lash appointment on Friday. I'm going to the Celtics game on Thursday. I have a friend's birthday on Saturday, and then an event Saturday night. So Monday and Tuesday is when I gotta be a big girl and do my big girl work. I already packed a lot of stuff. This is usually the room that I pack in. I put everything out on the bed as so as such. Uh, swimsuit, daytime, nighttime, and pajamas. So I'm almost good with that. I have to re-go through it because this has been on my bed since like February. Before my surgery, I was trying to be very productive and like pre-packed. So I have to go back through it and see if I like it still. You know, it's like when you take a picture and you're like, look at it too long. You're like, oh, I don't want to wear this. I don't want to post this. That's how I'm feeling about these outfits. So I have to go back over those tomorrow. Other than that, we're almost 38, y'all. <laughs> I'm really excited, but not excited. But I am ready to vacay. I'm ready to get in the sun. I hope the weather is beautiful. I'm ready to just relax, not worry about anything, not care about anything, and try to recharge myself. Cause y'all know I've been going through some um, emotional damage. I wanna like reset, recalibrate, re all that stuff and come back ready to start living my life again. I will see y'all tomorrow and um, happy Aries season. <clears throat> Good morning, we are off to school. I got some coffee brewing. I'm gonna do my nails this morning. Finally, I was gonna wait till Thursday, but I can't take it anymore. Like they're chipping, they're nubby, they're um, just no. Beautiful daughter. She normally doesn't get to wear her hair out like that before school, but I cannot sleep. I woke up at six o'clock in the morning and could not go back to sleep. So had a little time to put a little juice in her hair. And I'm really excited on nail day. I love doing my nails. I'm doing this cute little, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I have 1986 on his hand, the best year, and Aries on his hand. <laughs> So hopefully it turns out super fly. Because if it don't, I'm mad. I'm gonna have a full tutorial on my nails on Instagram, but you guys will see what it looks like first, obviously, because we family. All right, I did my nails. Um, they didn't come out quite how I envisioned them. I wanted like a nude French with gold lettering, right? And the color nude I chose is more like peachy, which I'm kind of annoyed about, but at least we no longer have nubs. This is what they look like. It says 1986 on this hand. These are just like uh, little gold stickers. And on this hand, yeah, it says Aries. Ooh. So it's not bad, obviously. It's simple and cute. It was easy. Just wish I would have made my own shade of nude, but it's all good. And the carpool line about to pick up Zah. Gotta stop the grocery store, get her some apples, which means we're probably gonna have a sandwich because it's kind of like a no longer option to go to Publix without getting a public sandwich. It just, it only makes sense. You feel me? Hi, baby girl. Hey, I had a really good day today. Didn't you? I want to hear all about it, bro. Okay, so my goodness of the day started that I found this really fire outfit. What fire outfit? This, this outfit. Oh, okay. I found this cute outfit. And my second good part of the day was that um, you did my hair really cute and I like it. Okay. And I always have a good day when my hair looks good. Okay, good to know. And my next favorite part of the day was that my least favorite teacher wasn't here today. Okay. Yeah, and the sub was really nice and chill, and she let us go to lunch way earlier than we usually do. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I just had a good day. That is awesome, because, you know, Mondays aren't, you know, everybody's favorite day of the week. But you, you, um, you, uh, prospered, prospered? Prospered? You prospered? 
and overcame adversity of, you know, a day that's not many people's favorite. And you know how you're about to have an even better day? What? Because I got to go to Publix to get some apples. <gasps> and you know what that means. <gasps> like, it looks like your good luck fairies are all around you, bro. Like, yay! That's wow. Don't forget, we need to film my video audition homework. Oh. Yeah. There goes my good day, you know? <laughs> so it's all right, though. At least one of us, one of us can do it. You know, if it got to be anybody, I hope it's you. You feel me? I could have sworn we had more food to this. Because remember he was like, how y'all fit all that in this tiny little hand basket? I wish there was more because, like, what? Well, I thought I did good until I really put it on the counter because I thought I had a lot in my little basket, but I guess the apples took up a lot of space because in today's episode of what did that 48.49 get you? Uh, not much. First of all, we were overcharged for our sub. You know, if you know, Boris Head is more than Publix, and I always get Publix, and they gave me Boris Head. I do not like that. Like, it's one thing if you give it to me on accident and charge me for a Publix, but don't be charging me for no Boris Head when I specifically ask for Publix, and then it, uh, it reflects upon my receipt, because sometimes the whole time is $6, they have them on sale. They charged me nine dollars. It's supposed to be eight dollars max. I don't like that. Anyways, she always wants to get lemonade, and I always want my kombucha. These were two for five dollars. She wanted some chips, but I said let's try something healthier. These were two for a dollar. Then I got some avocados. This will last me up until I go to town for some breakfast, which I have not had today. I'm not eating anything at all today because I was on my nails. Then we got some apples for her lunch. Y'all should be proud of me. I'm still buying whole fruit and cutting it for her lunch, even though I kind of substituted, substituted that expense with pre-made salad. I don't like chopping up lettuce and ingredients like that. Like, it's very lazy. I will work on that, but um, these are $5. I oh, know, so bad. We have a salad for dinner, and for her, I'm gonna cook her this lamb chop. I only got one because I'm gonna eat a salad for dinner because I have not been clear to exercise yet and it's a week before I go out of town, so I'm just starving myself instead, just kidding. But I'm gonna have to eat healthier the last week in order to have somewhat of a stomach since I would be on crunch time right now. Huh, huh, huh. Only thing I can do is flex my booty cheeks and my butt oh. still ain't growing. <laughs> Girl, baby, it's too small. Like, I need to be like you. You have a great shape. I wish I had your shape. But anyways, that's in today's episode of What Did I Get Me? We're about to eat lunch. It's my birthday week eve. <laughs> yes, that's a thing. How you doing? Yeah, okay. So yeah, about to eat because I'm starving. All right, it's bedtime. I was gonna update y'all on a few things, but uh, I'll just put that in the next vlog because I'll have even more information then. I don't want to be chatty patty tonight. Hopefully I get a good night's sleep because I did not last night as I rarely do. I do feel better than I did, um, than I have been because I stopped taking some pills that I was taking that I have to try one more time before I tell y'all how they made me feel because they're actually, they were recommended to me by y'all. So I want to try to take them one more day, but if I'm grumpy the next time I take these pills, I'm gonna tell y'all what they are because then I'm gonna know like, okay, they're throwing my my hormones off when they're supposed to be balancing them. So I'm gonna give them one more shot. But yeah, I'll update you on that and some other stuff for now. Thank you guys for watching. Check out your channel tomorrow per usual, and I will see y'all next week. This time next week, I'm gonna be in Mexico. I have to update you on that too because. That's a whole nother story, but yeah. We'll chat later. All right. Until next time. Love you. Mwah.